Whether you need a grain-free breakfast idea or a snack that can refuel the body post-workout, this is one breakfast cookie everyone will love. Hi, it's Laura from MamaBowls.com making a grain-free and paleo breakfast cookie. Now we've got to eat breakfast every single day, and sometimes it can get boring, even for me. These breakfast cookies are the perfect fuel my kids need to focus on their classwork all the way to lunch. They're also great for parents like me who need portable food for those mornings where we're running a little behind. This recipe is super easy to make, and it's a spin-off of my oatmeal breakfast cookie in the best homemade kids' lunches on the planet. To make this cookie, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to line two baking sheets with parchment paper or silicone mats. In a large bowl or the bowl of your stand mixer, I'm going to add my banana and mash it up, almond butter, although you can use any nut-free alternative, honey, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer in a large bowl or a fork. In another bowl, I'm going to combine my unsweetened and finely shredded coconut with the hemp seed, the baking soda, and salt. Next, we're going to combine our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients, mixing it until everything is thoroughly combined. And then, we fold in the raisins. The beauty of this breakfast cookie is that you can fold in lots of other things, like blueberries, strawberries, dried fruits, or even nuts. I'm going to drop a mound of cookie dough onto my lined pan. Now, this recipe yields eight cookie monster-sized cookies, but of course, you can make them smaller if you like and they're going to go in the oven one baking sheet at a time. Of course, if you have extra dough, divide them evenly among your cookies. And then I like to press them down with my fork a little bit, just to make sure they cook evenly and thorough. In the oven they go one baking sheet at a time for about 15 minutes. Now if you're gonna put both cookie sheets in there, make sure you swap them out halfway through. Now once they're finished, we're gonna let them cool down completely before removing them from the tray. Grab the recipe to this delicious cookie and subscribe to the channel. For more easy recipes your entire family will love, head over to mamabowls.com.